All right, I'm here with the uh, XFLR5 uh, project. We uh, two uh, NACA airfoils, 0012 and 44112 for uh, airfoil and wing design analysis. And uh, let's get started. So first thing we wanna do is uh, go to direct foil design, the modules right there, control one. And we wanna set our new foils. So I already have some of them set up a little bit. So for the first one, we want to do four for one twelve. It's the first one analyzing. So do that. And the next one we'll do a little twelve. All right. So now we have the two two air foils. I'm gonna go ahead and change the color of this one to be just a tad brighter, or sorry, darker. And there we go. Now we have those set up. Now we can navigate to the direct analysis and start uh, analyzing these. So there's gonna be four analyses or analyses for uh, the four different airfoils. Um, so we'll go to analysis, define analysis is for the first one, the double 12. And for our for our conditions in the lab, we had it at uh, two speeds at 30 hertz and 60 hertz. 30 hertz corresponded to Reynolds number of uh, 41,284. So we have that already set up. And we'll do that for the 44112. And then we need to do the analysis for the 60 hertz, which corresponded to a Reynolds number of around 87,000. 87,983 to be exact. I'll do the same for the 44112. All right, and there we go. Uh, now that these are all set up, we need to do the analysis settings, do a sequence. Uh, ours, we started at negative eight and then went up to uh, 24, uh, increments of four. But uh, for this one, we'll just do increments of two and then click on each of these and and uh, start analyzing them. All right, there we go. We have our four graphs. And what I'm gonna go ahead and do is distinguish the 60 Hertz versus the 30 Hertz, just so they're easier to, well, distinguish. Um, as we can see, and now we want we want four graphs. We want the coefficient of lift versus alpha, coefficient of drag versus alpha, the CL over CD versus alpha, and then CL versus uh, CD. So we can do that by pressing G uh, on any of these graphs. Click CD, click alpha, click OK. Do the same for this. Uh, then to keep on doing it. I already have it set up already. Uh, so right now we have a four graphs. And now what we can do is we can go to polars and we can export these to Excel so we can see the data that way. Select that folder. And we'll go with, so in the project we want to have them, we want eight graphs in total, uh, four graphs for the 30 Hertz and four graphs for the 60 Hertz. And on each graph should be four plots for each uh, two different wings and the airfoils. But for the sake of this video, we'll do just, um, we'll do four graphs with uh, just one plot each of, uh, of just one, which is the uh, NACA 0012. So um, we have all the alpha and the CL, the CD, we have all this beautiful data here, very nice. And we're gonna go ahead and start making the graphs. All right, for the first one, set this one up. We'll do CL, actually no, this isn't right. We'll do CL, this is alpha, or angle of attack. And then, here we go. All right, and we have the, uh, CL versus alpha for the 0012. There we 
Girl. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and maximize. And do C, D versus alpha. Uh, and there we go. There's that one. And this one will do uh, CL versus, or sorry, CL versus CD. So this one will be CL and then CD. All right, there we go. And the last graph is CL divided by CD versus the alpha, which is not here. So we can go ahead and create that. Quotient and we'll input a function. So we want CL divided by CD. So we'll do C11, comma B. Oh, sorry, no, no, we want B11, comma C11. All right, it's negative 16. Go ahead that. Or so go ahead and drag that. There we go. Now we have that. Let's go down here, create the last graph. CL by CD over our side versus alpha. Series X, alpha, and then series Y. There we go. And there we go. Now we have our four graphs corresponding to the Excel FLR data. And we can go to each of these graphs at a trend line, put on more options, split equation. And we have the equations and everything going on here as well. So this is for the uh, 00412 at the 30 hertz frequency. Uh, for what you what you'd want to do is uh, have all these uh, airfoils together, or data for each airfoil together in a, in a in a graph, so you can combine them all. So there's there's four plots on each graph, uh, and then times that by two for the uh, the uh, sixty hertz frequency, totaling eight. But for the second video, we'll just do just these four, and then we'll do four for the uh, the wing design as well. So we can close out of that. And now what we need to do is batch the analysis. So we want to select both um, both airfoils. We have a, we want to have a, a, a wide range of Reynolds numbers. So I have mine. First point is at uh, eighteen hundred all the way to three million, and then for the analysis range, we want to specify it to be uh, from negative eight angle of attack to twenty four. Uh, degrees with an increments of two for our project. Click analyze. And there we go. We have all the beautiful charts. Now that that's completed, we can switch over to designing our wing. So go to module, we can plane design. Now we need to create our two uh, wings. So first things first, to find a new plane, we do the NACA 12 first. We don't want the fin, we don't want the elevator. Only thing we want is just the main wing. Click define. And for our uh, wing in the lab, the uh, Expand was 0.755 or 0.0755. 
And then the chord length was 0.1 for both sides. There was no offset. So it just has that. And then we'll do the double 12 here. So we can, oh, we can see the mesh here. Save. Save that. We have it right here. And let's go ahead and define the 4412 plane or wing. Same thing as before. No elevator, no fin. We'll do two. And we need to define it again. Same thing as before. Except this time we choose the four for one two. There we go. So now we have two the two airfoils, one camera and one not. Sorry, two wings, not airfoils. Um, now we need to define the analysis again. So we can define the analyses. So for the airfoils, we had it at two different um, Reynolds numbers corresponding to a, a different uh, frequencies. First one was 30 hertz, second one was 60. At 30 hertz, the Reynolds number corresponded to a velocity of around 6.1 meters per second. As we can see here, the uh, at 6.1, it roughly corresponds to 41,000, which is what it was as before. And then under analyses, go to ring vortex, and then turn viscous off, save that. And then we wanna do the same thing, but for the 87,000 uh, Reynolds number, which was around 12.5 meters per second free stream velocity. And then same thing as before, ring vortex, no viscous. And, and then just repeat the process for the uh, 4412. Okay, now that we have our four analyses set up, we can uh, begin. So same thing as before, we'll do a sequence starting from negative eight angle of attack to 24. Um, okay, analyze that for each one. Here's that one. Oh, it's fine. And then that one. And that one. And I'm going to go ahead and, I guess I can't really do that in here now, but as you can see, each, each, uh, each of them was performed correctly, except, except the 0012 wasn't able to converge in the, at 24 degrees angle of attack. I'm not sure why, but it's, it should be fine. Um, right. So now we have all the data we can, uh, we can see these, we can animate them, we can see how they how they look at different angles of attack. And now we want to see them in their graph forms. Go here. We can see, and now here I'm going to just go ahead and change the color so they're easier to distinguish. So the NACA 4412 is a gold and the uh, 0012 is is uh, blue. And we have four sets of data. Right, so now that we have these values, we can go ahead and export to um, Excel. So go to Polar and then export all Polars. So folder.
All right. Uh, and here we are. So like I said before, you want to have um, four graphs of four plots on them. But for the sake of this video, we'll just do one, one for the airfoil and one for the wing. Here we can do the wing. So we have all the data as before, the CL, the CD, and alpha. Um, and now we can create the graphs again. <clears throat> all right. So for the first one, do CL. This is, this is the angle of attack. Whoops. So there we are. And then CL. And then the, do it next, another one. Do you see D versus alpha? There we go. And then this one will be the uh, this one will be the CL versus CD. And then we need to create the last one, which is a CD over the, uh, or sorry, CL over the CD versus alpha. And we need to create that again. So we'll just do the same, same as before up here, insert a function, quotient, and it is C8 to, or sorry, divide by F, F8. All right, there we go, I got these two. Click that, drag that over, there we are. And now we have that, we can insert our last chart. CL divided by CD versus alpha. Whoops. CL over CD versus alpha. All right, and there we go. We have all the four graphs. Um, as a four, you'd want to combine these uh, and then have them for each each velocity. Right now, this one was just the NACA four for one twelve at twelve point five or thirty or sorry sixty hertz frequency for the uh, wind tunnel. Uh, normally, you want to have all these together, but as I said before, just for the sake of the video, we will do just that. Um, and that's pretty much it. And uh, yeah. Thank you for watching.